Hey everybody, Happy New Year! Welcome back to our Winter Sunday School 2021 video series. We're going to be doing something new this time around and maybe you can figure out what it is with Mrs. Evans standing here beside me. Did you remember that that's her name now, Mrs. Evans? What do you think of the new thing is? Well, you're right if you said music. What do you have for us, Mrs. Grogan? I have a job. No, nope. uh, Mrs. Mrs. Evans. Evans. And Mrs. Grogan is my mother. <laughs> so See, I, I have a job for you. That's what I have. And this is your job. Are you ready? Here it is. It's really hard. It's really tough. Here's your job. Let my people go. That's your job. Let me hear you do your job. Ready? <gasps> Let my people go. I'll sing I along with you it. on the video, even though I wouldn't sing along if we were together in person, because it's just weird for me to imagine it. But Mrs. Miller is also going to help you do your job. So let me hear you do your job again. Ready? <gasps> Let my people go. So no matter what I do, that's your job. You do your job. Even if I'm talking about how much I like banana bread, you go. <gasps> Let my people go. So smart. Thank you very much for helping us out. So I here like banana is... bread, too. Oh, yes. I know. It's so good. <laughs> So here's the first verse. This is a call and response song. You're the response. And the response is, let my people go. Exactly. No matter what I do, I'm the call, which is different. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. All right, now let's do it one more time. This song is about the power of God, and the words let my people go are actually God speaking through somebody else. So I really hope you're not singing it like, let my people go at home. You've got to sing it with power because these are the words of our God. So let's try it again with some power. I'm going to sing the whole thing this time, and you join me when I get to your job. Now you know when it is. Here I go. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. You might have noticed the two lines I sing have the same melody. I wonder if you can join me on when Israel was in Egypt's land and oppressed so hard they could not stand. If you're still working on the response, you can just do that. But if you're ready, join me on the call too. Ready. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. Oppressed is a big word. So if you're sitting down right now, take your hands and push down on your legs real hard. Ready? If you do it hard enough, it might actually kind of hurt your legs. That's what oppressed means. It means someone is pressing down on you. And if in real life, it kind of hurts. So this is a song about pain, but it's also a song about hope. Can you put all those big ideas into your voice? It means you need to be sitting or standing really tall, using lots of air and lots of space inside here. Let's do this verse. This is the verse of the song. Let's do the verse one more time. Ready. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go. Great job. We're going to come back and finish learning that song next week. Thank you, Mrs. Miller. Oh, thank you. Oh, maybe you can figure out from that song what we're going to be reading about in Sunday School over the next few weeks. Yes, it's about Israel being in Egypt and God delivering them. Lots of good things to be thinking about, things that God did and the way he showed himself there. Well, we're back, and I don't see Noah anywhere, but I bet if we call him that he'll come back too. Are you ready to call him with me? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hey, Noah! Hmm. That wasn't 
loud enough. Let's try it again. One, two, three, hey, Noah! I hear something. Let's try it one more time and hear you. I bet he'll come. One, two, three, hey, Noah! There you Whoa, are. Whoa, hello, Miss Tina. How happy are you? And happy year. new year to you. I am doing great. And you? Well, we're doing really great until last night. Uh-oh, what happened? Well, you know, it's been getting a little cold. Yes, it's winter. Yes, and you know, we still have chimpanzees on the ark. Yeah, those guys are a mess. Well, they got into the toolbox. Uh-oh. And they found my hatchet. Uh-oh. <laughs> and they started chopping. What did they get? Well, we had to stop them before they chopped too much of the ark. Yeah and started to put it on the fire to keep warm. <laughs> you just can't trust the chimpanzees anymore. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. We're no. okay, though. Yeah. Well, I see you got some um, oh, new... You like those? Here. Yeah, yes, those are pretty cool. Yes, yes, yes. New, new year, new A new trunks. year, some, some new mm. swim trunks. Yeah. Look at that, yeah. check it out. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, we haven't been together for a while. I know. So the kids haven't heard any elephant jokes. Oh. But an elephant joke. while we were gone, some of them sent in some jokes for you. You have one of those for us today? As a matter of fact, I do. Oh. All right. The joke today comes from Jeremiah Lyons. All right. Way Let's to give go, it up Jeremiah. For Jeremiah. Let's hear it. Where does an elephant put his groceries when he goes shopping? Well... <laughs> In a grocery bag. Uh, yeah. Is it? Is it in his trunk? In the trunk. Ah, that's right. Yay, that's a good one. Yeah. Very good. Very Thank good. You, You're Jeremiah. catching on. You're catching yeah, on. I caught on to that one. Yeah. So this time around, for the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about Israel in Egypt and God delivering them out of Egypt. Absolutely. So what do you think oh. might be in your box that would have to do with that? Uh, I have no idea. You never, you know, I never have an, uh, an idea what's in the box. Mrs. Noah's very creative. She's very creative. She Let's take a look. <laughs> okay. Here. I have no Maybe idea what this is. What in the world is this? Well, you wouldn't know about this, Noah. What? And I'm not even sure the kids the know heck? about this. I have no you idea know what, what is, this is. What is? This is a telephone. A telephone. Used, yeah, a telephone. So you can talk to people across distance from this. So if I was, if you were on the ark, <laughs> and I was at my house, I could use this to call you, push these little buttons and call you, and you would what, answer. But push those little buttons right there. Yes. Yeah. I'd call the ark. And it would call the ark. Oh my goodness. If you have a phone on the ark. You might oh, need to take this and put this on the ark. I okay. need that. Okay. But kids, what do you think this could be? What does this have to do with Egypt and Israel being in Egypt? Well, you're going to have to read the lesson and talk with your Sunday school teacher to figure that out. So we're going to be looking at the first couple of chapters of the book of Exodus. So you read it. And if you can figure out why we have a telephone in Noah's box... And you email me what you think it is, and you get it right, I might have a little prize for you. Oh, prizes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you do that. First couple of chapters of the book of Exodus, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.